Welcome to how I cuisine. Today I'm gonna be cooking empanada today. Empanada is like a beef patty, okay? This is pre-made already, so like you don't need to like uh, force yourself doing know everything now. Now they come in the package already, pre-made. They have like a different kind of company. They have Goya too. I did make, I already make Goya before. This is empanada, you see the name? Empanada, you can go to any kind of supermarket and find it. They have a Goya different brand, okay? So what do you need? You need the empanada. This is the pre-made already. Everything is full already. Good for you. The only thing you need to do just prepare the um, the, the filling, the one you're supposed to put inside, and you're gonna put there. And you wanna you can fry or bake it. So today I'm gonna be frying it today. The ingredient you need. This is the stuff you need. So this is the ingredient you need. You need a tomato and uh, three onions and one garlic and I'm gonna be using a fish today like a canned fish today okay I'm gonna do two version the other version is like uh, the veggie I already did the veggie sauce already so let me show you guys that okay so this is the veggie on sauce this is um garlic onions tomato and a mushroom so this is the mushroom kind version. So I'm going to do two version, okay? So those the ingredients, tomato, garlic, onions, and the empanada. This is empanada, like a beef patty, okay? All right, I'm going to show you guys what to do next. Okay, I already finished cut the onions and tomato and garlic. So this is onions, garlic, and tomato. So I already opened the can of um, fish. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour this inside the So I just pour those inside. So I'm going to smash, I'm going to smash all those fishes. So this is the part. So my part is almost hot and I'm going to put the oil. You know what, I'm going to change this pot and um, cook with the small pot. I'm going to make the uh, sauce first and after I'm going to fry the panada, okay? So let me start making the um, sauce. So this is the sauce now. And I'm going to need like um, one maggi. And this is... um, And I'm going to need two of these too. Sasson. Sasson is very good. Like the way I always tell you guys, Sasson is good. It's just like a tomato. When you put sasson in your food, it will give you that rest texture like tomato and it tastes very good. It's very good season. Anytime you go to the supermarket, buy some and try it, you're going to love it, okay? I'm not doing a commercial for nobody and I'm just telling you, sasson is very good. I always cook with sasson. It's Spanish, Goya. Anytime you see Goya, it's Spanish, okay? Alright then. So I'm going to start making the sauce right now. Okay, so this is the fish. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna mix everything right now, like this. Okay, so I'm gonna already, already put the oil in the pot. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna wait when the oil is hot and I'm gonna put everything in the pot, okay? Okay, so now the um, the, hot, uh, the oil is hot right now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start putting everything in the oil, okay? So this is the sauce. So I'm gonna take a big spoonful of the sauce. And I'm gonna put it. Okay. okay, I'm gonna mix it just like this. And I'm gonna add um, sasson. I'm gonna add one first and see how it look like. And um, if it's not red enough, I'm gonna add an other one. And I'm gonna add some sauce in. And this Maggi season, my favorite Maggi, because my Maggi season was finished yesterday. I went shopping and I buy some too. Okay, so I already I use one sasson and I put one Maggi. And uh, those season I uh, show you guys and I add uh, just a little bit, not that much, just a little tiny bit. You need to try your food and make sure it's nice and seasoned because you don't want to over season your food either, okay? So now it's cooking now. 
So you want to make sure to this water cooked and if start frying it, so that's the time you're going to know the sauce is finished. Okay? So the panada, I'm going to show you guys how to prepare the panada, okay? Yeah. Okay, it's time to do the panada now. So you need to you need a flour. You need to flour the um this the plate, whatever plate you're going to be putting the panada. You need to flour it because you don't want the panada to stick on it. So this is how they come, you see? They come ready made already, so you just need to peel it from here and put it on top of uh, the, the plate you're gonna be putting on, okay? Okay, so this is the sauce. The sauce is almost done. So I'm gonna turn it up the fire off right now. And this is my flour, so how you do it? This is how the empanada come like this, so you're gonna peel it. Let me show you guys how to peel it. You're gonna peel one just like this. Remove it. You see, they come like like in veggie do like you see they come prepare made so you just peel it like this you want to put on top of a flour because you don't want them to stick okay you want to peel it okay see when you peel it this this you're going to throw this away so you see it's a bunch of them you're just going to take one like this lift it and after you see just gonna do like this see they're gonna you're gonna remove the paper and you're gonna take this and put it on top of the flour like this you see you don't want them to stick so that's what I'm gonna do right now okay so I got two filling this is the veggie filling this is mushroom onions pepper and a um, little bit of um, sasson and I fry it just the way I fry the other one. So this is the, uh, the other film. This is fish filling. So I got two filling. So you see, the panada is ready. So what I'm gonna do, the filling, you see? You don't wanna put too much because you don't want them to bust, okay? So I'm gonna put the filling in the middle. This is just a mushroom filling, okay? There's no fish, no meat, nothing. So I got two. You see this excess oil I don't want that so you see this is the reason why you don't want to put too much inside okay so you see what I did so now I'm gonna close it down you see just like this so when you close it down like this so now you're gonna take a fork you see you're gonna take this and you're gonna press it down Pressing in there on the fox. You see that? You're gonna press it down. Because I'm, I'm using my one hand with the camera and doing it is hard, you know? So you see, you're gonna press it down just like that with the fork everywhere. See? Press it down. Press it down. Sit down, you see? That's it. And I'm gonna take this other one. I got a clean plate right here. This is a clean plate, so I'm gonna remove this one and put this in the clean plate like this. So you see? And I'm gonna remove the excess um the excess one on it. So I'm gonna do everything and show you guys how how it look like, okay? Okay, so this is my fish filling right now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the fish filling now. So this is a veggie filling, and this is the fish filling. I already did four um, veggie filling already, so I'm gonna do four. I'm gonna do four um, fish filling too. That's how I'm gonna keep in going doing it. I'm gonna show you guys one more time how to do it. Okay? Okay, you see. You're just gonna follow this. Okay, so this is the panada. This is the fish one. So I already made it. Fish. I make like I make two styles so I can know the difference. You see how I did this in a different way. And this is the veggie. The veggie got a different style. So I just did that by purpose so I can know the difference. Okay. The oil in the fire. The oil is hot already. So I'm gonna start frying the veggie. Okay, this is the veggie one. So I'm gonna take one. Just like this, 
And this is the oil. And you're going to dip in the oil like this. You see? You're going to take it. And dip in the oil. See, I'm gonna fry those first, okay? Okay, there, so the empanada is ready. See? It's getting getting burned, so I'm gonna remove them out of the oil, okay? Mine's dead because I'll just walk. Walked out for just one minute. So let's see. Okay, so this is the one I just fry right now. So that's all you gotta do. Okay, so this is the fish, and I'm gonna start adding the fish one too. You see? Right. So now you see this is ready to so it's time to remove it because you don't want to let it look too dark, okay? Because this, you see? It's ready. So it's time to remove it. Put in the plate. The first one was a little bit darker because I woke, I walked out for one minute before I come it was almost burning. So this is the two extra one left. So I'm gonna fry those two and that's it. Fin you finish. Okay, you see? So this is the finished product. See? It looks good. Well done, you see that?